Once you start experimenting with mesh tastic, one of the first questions you'll face is what device type should I choose? Every meshtastic node has a role. It doesn't just send and receive messages. It can also retransmit packets to keep the mesh alive. The device type you select determines how your node participates in routing and retransmission. By default, most devices are set as clients. And believe it or not, this is the right choice for about 80% of cases, clients allow you to send and receive messages while still participating in routing when needed. Unless you have a very specific reason, stick to the client mode. It keeps the mesh efficient and avoids unnecessary congestion. Why not routers everywhere? You might think more routers equal better coverage, but in reality, too many routers slow the network down. When the routers are placed too close together, they can greatly increase number of quickly relayed messages, flooding the mesh and making communication just wars. Routers should be reserved for strategic locations, high up with clear visibility are spaced far apart. There is a repeater device type which retransmits every packet it receives while being hidden in the node list. But in recent firmware versions, repeaters are deprecated. With modern zero-hope routing, and by the way, we're gonna talk about zero-hope routing in a separate video. Subscribe to the channel to get the notification when that video comes out, repeaters are no longer necessary and can even harm the network by flooding it with duplicate messages. After all, a repeater is kinda dumb device. It receives a message and then immediately retransmits it. Now, let's take a look at three variations of client mode. First of all, we have a client mute. This type doesn't participate in routing. It's a read-only device. It's perfect for small portable devices with weak antennas, like, I don't know, handheld units or something you can put in your pocket. Instead of wasting power retransmitting packets that won't get through, they just send and recite. Think of them as your personal devices. Hidden clients still participate in the network, but don't appear in the node list. This conserves power, yeah, to some extent, and keeps your presence discreet. If you just don't want to show your node to anyone, choose the client hidden mode. And then there is a client base. Think of this as the personal relay. A client base is a stationary node mounted on the roof or attic or I don't know, somewhere relatively high, often with a direction antenna that prioritizes routing for your own devices. It helps weaker handhelds, like for example client mute, connect reliably without burdening the entire mesh. Just when a device is the favorite for your client base, it gets a priority. It's your own personal small router. Yeah, okay, not entirely a router, but close enough. And by the way, the client base is also important for the zero hope routing. So yeah, do subscribe to the channel. You don't want to miss that video after all, don't you? So what's the best device type? For most user, it's a simply client. If you're not 100% sure you want to use something else, stick with the client. It will be fine. Routers should only be deployed strategically and repeaters are obsolete. Use client mute for small portable devices, client hidden if you want to stay off the node list, and client base if you need a personal relay for your weaker devices. As simple as that, Meshtastic thrives when the community aligns on best practices. The right device type keeps the mesh fast, efficient and reliable. This was the Hacker University. I'm Paweł Spychalski. Thank you very much for watching and like always, happy hacking. <laughs> okay, it worked.